You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is Comedy Forecast, episode 709, Dog Days of Podcasting Edition. Posh Tots. Every August, the Dog Days of Podcasting event challenges podcasters to create a new show every single day of the month. Or at least as many days as they can. Comedy Forecast has been a participant virtually every year since the challenge began. During last year's event, we looked at one odd news story each day. And we're doing it again this year. Be sure to subscribe, so you never miss an episode. And, to hear all the content being created by everyone participating in this year's event, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. Thank you. Oh, hi there, Clinton here, and here is today's odd news story. Thanks to the pandemic, we all did a lot of binge-watching over the last year or so. As a result, not only was the show-slash-documentary Tiger King a hit, but Hollywood is turning it into a movie. That's not today's story. That's just a depressing fact. So let's dog-ear that for now. Instead, we're looking at the consequences of binge-watching a different show, one with a slightly younger demographic. American parents are saying that their children have begun speaking with a British accent because they have been watching so much Peppa Pig. For those of you not familiar with Peppa Pig, first of all, congratulations. You're probably the same sort of person who has never had the desire to find out what all the fuss was about by watching such oddities as Baby Shark or Pineapple Pen or The Bachelor. Peppa Pig is the animated adventures of a talking pig, her family, and friends. And some of them are real bores. <laughs> See what I... Because they're... An- <clears throat> but, you say, precisely how much Peppa Pig can one preschooler watch? Plenty. In fact, if you go to the official Peppa Pig YouTube channel, you will find episodes with their own 24-7 streams. That is a lot of pork. And it explains why American youngsters are beginning to tell their parents that they'd like to watch some telly. Or that when it comes to bath time, they'll consider giving it a go. Personally, I don't think there's really anything for parents to worry about. Unless, of course, your kids begin insisting that they are not in a timeout. They are merely on a bank holiday in the seaside town of Brighton by the corner of the room. Or, if little Timmy says he's frightfully sorry that he can't take a nap right now, because he needs to pop down to the pub for a quick pint with his mates. If this happens, we suggest that parents do the right thing. Try to figure out why Peppa Pig would be nipping off to the Black Lion for a lager and lime, because that's rubbish. All right, enough of this chinwag for today. Off you go. Oh, I'm feeling right chuffed about this episode. Who's up for a cuppa? Hmm? The end, oh, the end, yes. Uh, but for now, that's it. We're done, 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 done. Ta-ta. Episode contents, including story and music, by Clinton Alvord. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved. <laughs>